If there's a question of my heart You got it It don't belong to any To my bride From the first moment I laid eyes on you I was shown love Notice I did not say I fell in love Because when I saw you I was shown what true love is My life's experiences have shown me my own self Idealizations of love However God showed me you and what the essence of true love is. I remember this day fondly. I wasn't even supposed to be there. But God's timing is not my own. God brought me to you and you to me. God heard my silent prayer and these were them. Lord, send me someone to love. Grant her a beautiful mind so that we can discuss you and life's complexities. Grant her the sacred vision to see all roads that lead to you. Bless her with the patience as I can be fickle at times. Shower her with kindness and beauty as she will serve as a reflection of what heaven will entail. Above all else, let her be someone that embodies a pure spirit and walks with you every day. Who would have thought that this combination have existed, but I prayed for it, and he has shown all these qualities in you. I boast that my favorite scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 13, where we are taught what love is and why it is superior. As a youth, I would read the Bible to shore up my spirit and instill the values that, you know, I want to see myself and others. The standard set by, the, by this chapter has shaped my soul and the way that I view and show love. It is, the way I show love is the, is the essence of 1 Corinthians and also my pledge to you. I promise to love you eternally. I promise to be patient. I promise to be kind and free of envy. I promise to be selfless and transparent. I promise to endure the moments of life when they are the hardest. I promise to be thoughtful and have faith in us. I promise to be slow to speak and celebrate you in your moments, my love. We have been in perfect alignment since we have locked eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. God has made me the luckiest man on earth, for our love will be eternal. And although we may depart this earthly plane separately, I will always be with you and you with me, for I am eternally yours. My love, from the moment our first date ended, I knew deep down that you were the one. Even my friends have the screenshots to prove it. There are countless things I could say, but above all, I want to thank you for loving me and letting me in. Thank you for sharing the same stories with me over and over again, as if it were the very first time each time. But each time I smile at the joy you find in recounting every part of yourself and the moments that have shaped you into the divorce I love today. You are my favorite part about each day. And I thank God for allowing us to experience our kind of love. And I pray that our love is a reflection of the way that he loves us. On our third anniversary last July, I made you three promises. Today, I want to elevate those promises to vows. One, I vow to love you more each day as our love grows with strength and comfort. Two, I vow to respect and embrace the man you are and the one you will become. Three, I vow to support you in all of your aspirations with not only my prayers, but also my actions. And as we celebrate our wedding day and our four year anniversary, I make you this fourth promise. Four, I vow to always honor you as your wife. I'm excited to experience more life with you and sharing our love story over and over again as if it were sharing it for the very first time. I love you, baby. I've been making plans, plans oh, baby. Baby, I've been making plans for you. show you how I feel My love, it's my heart that you steal And I can't help falling, falling, falling for you You shine brighter than the stars in the sky I am yours and I know
Dearly beloved, we have gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Courtney, will you receive this ring from Devor as a token of his affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards you? And will you wear it as a symbol of your own affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards him? I do. This ring I give thee. This ring I give thee. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And with all my earthly goods. And with all my earthly goods. I promise to share. I promise to share. Devor, will you receive this ring from Courtney as a token and pledge of her affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards you? And will you wear it as a symbol of your own affection, sincerity, and fidelity towards her? I do. This ring I give thee. This ring I give thee. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And with all my earthly goods. And with all my earthly goods. I promise to share. I promise to share. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure. It is my honor. It is my distinct privilege. In this place, on this day, under this hot sun, to present for the very first time anywhere on earth, Mr. and Mrs. Devore Jawan McIntosh. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, you may salute your bride. Top of the stars Never thought we'd ever get this far We live for moments like this We come alive in moments like this Here we are, this is a turn Like a dream coming to life We live for moments like this We come alive in moments like this Through my head, I try to capture it, but a picture can't hold what a heart is feeling. I just wanna stop the world from spinning slowly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Don't start pray for them. And now we are continuing to pray for Courtney and Devo for God to keep them together until God come back to us. Thank you so much everybody enjoy and thank you all for coming out to witness my son, my divorce, <laughs> wed his wife, my now daughter. So I am not only, I'm not losing a son, but I'm gaining a daughter. Okay. Courtney, welcome to the family. I love you. I adore you. And now you get to have my baby boy. I'm so happy for you guys. I love you guys. And we are always going to be a village. It's just very big right now. Thank you. And enjoy everyone. Tonight marks the first step of your new forever chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please raise your champagne flutes, your glasses, and your juice boxes. To the beautiful bride and to the high groom, I know your fruitful marriage will be one of pure happiness, prosperity, and love. I know you will continue to honor each other and create a life full of unforgettable memories together. Cheers. That summer, though, I learned uh, what was told to us, a Native American proverb that goes, I am at my best when I'm with you. And I truly believe these two are at their best when they're with each other. So, if you raise your glass one more time. 
<laughs> yes, so the love you share and the love you give to those in this room. I love you guys. Cheers. Woo! I love you guys so much and wish you the best in your marriage. And thank you for always making me feel like your younger sibling. And the one in the back seat just cheering on to whatever playlist you guys have going on. Mind you, I know every song. But thank you for always keeping me beside you guys and always inviting me to come to PA. Although now I have to make time for that. But I love you guys so much and love the relationship that you guys have right now. Thank you. So, everyone, please raise your glass. And we are praying for endless years of passion, joy, love, patience, wealth to the newlyweds. Love you.